I just bought the last known bolt of crepe de chine silk created by famed designer Alberto Nucci. And it only cost me a year's salary. You spent a million dollars on that? I mean, the reasonable amount we all get paid each year? It costs a lot, but it was worth it. I get to sew something with genuine Nucci silk. So what? Hey, this is a big deal to me, and you say, so what? Take it easy, Aster. She just meant, what are you gonna sew? No, I meant, so what? As in, who cares? As in, why on earth are we still talking about this? Just be quiet. I only have enough silk to make one suit. I need to be very precise when cutting this fabric. Construction from the building going out next door. We've been dealing with it all day. Why didn't you warn me? You told us to be quiet. I've been trying to put on makeup, but the building keeps shaking. Wait, I think it finally stopped. Like me, the construction's annoying. But there's a positive side too. How is that like you? You're right, I'm not annoying. But check this out. Ice cream. Milk. And... A delicious milkshake. You don't even need a straw! fabric disaster, I didn't have enough silk left to make a suit. But I was able to make these. Clown pants? These are pantaloons! I've been through a lot today, including the worst fabric disaster since Yarnageddon of 09. And you have the insensitivity to call these clown pants? <laughs> it's too bad you didn't wait to cut your fabric. For some reason, the shaking seems to have stopped. Guys, feast your eyes on this. Uh. <laughs> oh, we covered that thing back up. Before someone sees, you stole the jackhammer. I didn't steal it. I borrowed it. I'll return it once we've had a few hours of peace and quiet. Besides, no one will figure out who has it. Which one of you clowns stole my jackhammer? Can I help you, mister? Mister? Oh, I wasn't saying mister. I was saying Mr. E, as in... It's a mystery whether you're a man or a woman. I'm a woman! My name is Betty, and one of you punk kids stole my jackhammer. I know because I followed the trail of broken concrete. Without my jackhammer, I'm gonna have to break up this concrete with my soft, dainty lady hands. Well, you may as well look somewhere else b b because n n n no one here has it. Nice try. One of you is obviously hiding it under their clothes. <gasps> Why are you doing that? Uh, because it's Tuesday. Office dance party. Right, guys? Uh, right. <laughs> I've got to change into Mr. 
Mrs. Bob, because I'm late for work. And on dance party Tuesday of all days. <laughs> Candace? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm here to return something I borrowed from Mrs. Bubkiss. This. A snotty tissue? She wants this back? It's a Miskatanian thing. They hate getting rid of anything. <laughs> if she asks you to meet her grandmother, just say no. <laughs> What's all this? It's recording equipment. Why? What are you trying to record in here? Because I can guarantee you that no scheming ever happens in this shed. <laughs> I'm recording a song I wrote, and the shed is the most soundproof place in the building. I guess thanks to this weird, ultra-dense, insulating foam on the wall. <laughs> I need quiet so no other sounds get on my track. If they do, whoever made them could claim partial credit on the song and share in the profits. If the song is a hit, that could be a lot of money. Really? What an interesting tidbit of information. That's kind of a weird way to say that. I'd almost be worried if I hadn't recently heard that no scheming ever happens in this shed. <laughs> Shake well before using. Thank you. I was thinking about that woman who was here, the construction worker. And you got so scared you wet yourself? No. Me neither. Anyway. It made me realize that all the construction toys on the market are targeted at boys. But there's no role model for girls who are into that sort of thing. That's why I created Betty the Builder. Do you think girls would like it? I'm more of a specialist on what girls don't like. Sprinkle generously over salad. Thank you. Geneva, would you play with this doll? No way. You don't think it's a good toy? Oh, it's not that. It's because I'm employed at a toy company, so playing with toys would be considered work. <laughs> I don't do work. Okay, how about this? You're fired. Just for one minute so you can play with the doll and tell me what you think of it. Is this a knick-knack toy? I would never play with this. Those jerks fired me. But I'll get back at each and every one of them. I'm going to go up to the roof and plan my revenge. No one will suspect me of scheming in the shed. At least she left the salad. Oh, it's not tossed. Thank you. So, what do you think? I think you need a blindfold, a tail, and a donkey to play this game. I'm talking about this vest I made from what's left of my Nucci fabric. We're not playing pin the tail on the donkey. Ow! Oh! Maybe you're not, but we are. <laughs> Guys, guess what? Betty the Builder is huge. Mostly her arms and neck. That's what makes her so scary. And also strangely alluring. I mean the doll. It's a big seller. Everyone loves it. I hate this stupid doll! <laughs> we gonna roll like the stars tonight. It's time to throw our hands up. Living like we can't stop. Blazing new roads, torching neon skies. Just crazy you and me, breaking free. Who can stop us now? We're running, running. It's all or nothing. Whoa, oh, 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 yeah. Whoa, oh, 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 yeah. We're running. Bubkiss, what are you doing? Oh, rush about the rush about. Sing while I clean. Please, Mrs. Bubkiss, no singing. I need quiet to record my song. I really think it could be a hit. Me too. Thank you, but could you please leave? And you, scheme somewhere else. 
Okay, Betty, just calm down. Why are you so upset? I'm upset because you made a doll that looks exactly like me. <laughs> what? No, we didn't. This doll is made out of felt. And you're made out of... rock? The guys at my work site all bought these dolls and are using them to make fun of me. It's made in a hostile work environment. I like to be the one who makes our work environment hostile. I think you're getting worked up over nothing. This doll isn't based on you. Yeah, right. Her name is Betty the Builder, and I'm Betty the Builder. The name is just a coincidence. Lots of things are named Betty. Like... This car! <laughs> Betty! The car! You named the car after me, too? <laughs> well, I guess the fender and grill do look like my teeth and jawline. <laughs> Great! I got oil on my dainty lady hands! <laughs> named after a completely different construction worker. Why don't I believe you? Probably because we've lied to you about almost everything else so far. <laughs> then prove it. I'll be back after work to meet this other Betty, and if she's not here, it's gonna be lights out! What are we gonna do? We don't have another Betty? Don't worry about it. She said it'll be lights out. Once it's dark, she won't be able to find us. Blazing new rows, torching neon sky is just crazy when me breaking free. Who can stop us now? We're running away. See what's calling. Whoa, oh, 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 yeah. Whoa, oh, 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 yeah. We're running. <laughs> Mrs. Bobkiss, what are you doing? Oh, not singing. cleaning shed. Well, it's interfering with my recording. This microphone is very sensitive. Like Esther. Exactly. Mm. So could you please clean something a little farther away? No problem. Who can stop us now? We're running wild. They hear us calling, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, we're running. <laughs> Mrs. Bobkiss! Oh, Russia, what are you for? Who's for Tarashot? Just mopping. Well, I think the grass is clean now. <laughs> I'm sorry to get so upset with you, Mrs. Bubkiss, but frankly, you're the only person who's being a pain in the butt. Ow! <gasps> I am really good at this game. <laughs> well, after having most of my Nucci fabric ruined, I finally realized what I needed to do. Give up? No, make myself a mankini. Knox, are you still playing pin the tail on the donkey? No, I just heard you say you were wearing a mankini. <laughs> Boy, any luck finding me? <laughs> any construction worker women? Oh, I thought you said construction paper women. <laughs> I anticipated you failing. So. I asked Geneva to dress up and pretend to be a mean top construction worker. Is someone talking about me? <laughs> because, yay! <laughs> I love it when people talk about me. <laughs> she doesn't seem very mean. Oh, yeah? When I offered to help her get dressed, she slammed the bathroom door in my face. <laughs> Aster, you have all kinds of clothes. Do you have a real construction worker outfit? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah, 
construction worker. There we go. Great. You can change later. But for now, let's work on your construction worker mannerisms and speech. Say something tough. A tutor who tooted a flute tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the toot to their tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? Okay, let's move on. Do you know how to use tools? Absolutely. But we bring me my purse. <gasps> yes, ma'am. He doesn't really like to be called a tool, though. I meant real tools. Instead of this hair dryer, use this drill. You can dry your hair with a drill? Cool! <laughs> no! <laughs> Who can stop us now? We're running wild. They hear us calling, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, we're running. Bagpipe, seriously? <laughs> Mrs. Bobkiss, what are you doing? Just the vacuum me. That's not how you use a vacuum. Ask about the eye cleaning lady. You singing boy. It's not even on. <laughs> Mrs. Bobkiss? Mrs. Bobkiss? Are you all right? Oh, well, at least she's quiet. Maybe Betty won't hurt us. I bet once you get to know her, she's a very gentle person. If I find out you snot rags have lied to me, I will crush your organs like the splattered bugs on the bottom of my steel-toed boots. So? Where's this other construction worker your toy is supposedly based on? Uh, funny story, actually. Isn't it funny, Bowie? <laughs> well, I am crying. These might be tears of laughter. Oh, where is she? What are we gonna do? It's not like Geneva's gonna suddenly show up acting tough and rescue us. Hey, leave those two boys alone. <laughs> or I'll throw you in jail. You don't scare me. How about a cowboy? Would a cowboy scare you? I heard someone's looking for me. Because they should be looking for an exit. Who are you supposed to be? I'm the real Betty, the builder. Though I also enjoy destroying things. But I'm Betty. There can't be two Bettys. Or three. Sorry, Betty. I agree. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. I really feel like this calls for my cowboy outfit. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'm biting my nails. Yeah? Well, I'm biting my nails. Now, let me show you the way out. Oopsie, forgot there was a door. Okay, okay, you're Betty. I'll change my name to Shirley. Just don't hurt me. Porthole now? I guess I need my navy outfit. Geneva, but he's gone. You can change out of that costume now. This isn't a costume. It's a uniform. I quit. I took a job as a real construction worker. You did? Yeah. Have you ever seen a construction site? They spread a week's worth of work over six years. <laughs> That's even less work than I do here. <laughs> out of the way, coming through. Looking good, sweetheart. Guys, come check this out. 
I was finally able to finish my song. Vocals, instruments, the full final mix, all done by me. <laughs> cool, let's hear it. It's great that we're having dance parties on Wednesdays, too. <laughs> Your song is amazing. I love it. Me, too. Me, too. Let's get about Ned's bagpipes. <laughs> Your voice sounds great. I mean, I love all the layered tracks, especially that rhythmic, bouncy sound that really makes the song. Wait, what was that? It, it sounded like... to share writing credit with them, boy? I guess you're both going to be rich. <laughs> At least them boy didn't ruin my project. I was finally able to use the last bit of my Nucci silk to make this neckerchief. <laughs> Thank you. Betty the Builder, can she build it? Betty the Builder, sure she can. She can work the forklift, the bulldozer too. She can do anything a man can do. She can scratch her butt and even pass gas. She can whistle at you like she has no class. Betty the Builder, new from Knick Knack. I'm P. Everett Knick Knack. The P stands for... Pig! <laughs> <laughs>